They say it was amazing. He won three piston cups. <laughs> he did what in his cup? It was at this point when it became abundantly clear to me that Pixar movies are not made for kids. I mean, yes, they're generally seen as family-friendly films, but there are a lot of things that just go straight over the heads of all the kids watching. There's tons of little details that almost every kid would miss, there's certain innuendos if you know what I mean, and there's adult themes even exploring the concept of death. But how exactly does Pixar make such great films that appeal to kids while also making something that adults can enjoy just as much? The answer? Hidden Worlds. Now, what exactly do I mean when I say the phrase hidden worlds? Basically, we get to see worlds that may only exist in myths or in one's imagination. Pixar takes something that may seem insignificant at first glance, such as a rat or a car, and they use the device of personification to bring those things to life in a way that we may have never seen or even imagined before. Pixar then uses these personified objects, creatures, or even spirits to create an extended metaphor that brings forth a truth about the real world that we may not have recognized before. Take Finding Nemo for example. Pixar takes the real-life undersea world of fish and couples it with a strained relationship between an overly cautious father and an adventurous kid. They personify these fish, showing us the hidden world of sea creatures interacting in ways we'd never even imagined before. Ultimately though, the film brings forth the universal truth that sometimes the best way to keep the ones you love safe is to trust them. Now look at Toy Story. Pixar takes inanimate toys left behind in a child's bedroom and brings them to life in a way that makes just about everyone question what their toys do behind closed doors. Pixar personifies these dolls and playthings, showing us the hidden world of toys. In the end, the film brings forth the truth that we can't stop change, no matter how hard we try, so we should instead try to embrace it. Pixar is able to make such great stories because they're consistent. They're consistent with the quality of work they produce, with the amount of time their creators invest in every movie, and with the meaningful messages each film delivers. They're simply second to none when it comes to producing an animated feature film, and whether you think all their movies are cinematic masterpieces or not, ultimately comes down to your own opinion. Whether it's the hidden world of monsters, of emotions, of sea creatures, of superhero families, of bugs, or the land of the dead. Pixar delivers stories which ultimately resonate with almost anyone on a level that few other animated films can. You might be wondering though, how is Pixar able to make these hidden worlds appeal to adults rather than just to children? And the answer lies in their film's dialogue and the little details. Pixar uses a very basic writing structure for their dialogue and plot details. A former writer for Pixar, Emma Coates, actually wrote out this structure on Twitter. Once upon a time, there was a blank. Every day, blank. One day, blank. Because of that, blank. Until finally, blank. This story structure was outlined by Coates along with several other rules in what Pixar calls the 22 rules of storytelling. And you can find that each of these guidelines are more or less followed in every Pixar story. Some of these rules include you admire a character for trying more than for their successes, or come up with your ending before you figure out your middle. Seriously, endings are hard, get yours working up front. Or discount the first thing that comes to mind, and the second, third, fourth, fifth, Get the obvious out of the way. Surprise yourself. And it's probably this last rule that seems to help push Pixar toward adult-focused dialogue and writing from time to time. When writers are trying to surprise themselves, they're likely to surprise the audience with things like One can get too familiar with vegetables, you know! Or <laughs> you kid. She just likes me from a body. It's moments like these that truly show you that Pixar isn't just making these movies for kids. Ultimately, they're hoping to make a film that anyone can enjoy, including adults. And they're able to do this because Pixar's writers have total creative freedom with little to no oversight. This in turn attracts the top talent in the animation industry, and they're able to come up with some of the greatest stories in animation of all time. But just how do Pixar's films stand out from the crowd? The little details. And Pixar actually has an entire department devoted to the little details. This team, doing what Pixar calls shading, focuses on adding all the dirt, rust, bumps, scratches, and other surface textures to objects that initially appear smooth and lifeless when they come out of the computer. These are the kind of details that children likely wouldn't notice much at all, but that adults can see and understand the extra effort it takes to bring this realism to an animated picture. Things like the cuts and burns on the chef's hands in Ratatouille, or the dust kicked up by the toys when they run by in Toy Story, just end up being the icing on the cake in an already revolutionary creative process. 
Pixar's shading and lighting departments are constantly innovating to find better ways to add these little details, such as when their teams created AI-powered spiders to spin lifelike cobwebs in the antique store in Toy Story 4. This type of innovation isn't new for Pixar either. They were actually the ones to first invent 3D animation when they created the first feature-length 3D animated film with Toy Story. Not only did they invent 3D animation though, but they also revolutionized the way animation studios film their scenes. Pixar actually uses virtual camera rigs to set the blocking and shots for their scenes in much the same way that live action films do. They first build the characters and place them in the set for any given scene, and then they place a fake camera inside the set to film the animation as it takes place. At any other studio, a process like this likely wouldn't have been possible. With Pixar though, there's almost no friction between business and art because the technical staff is also the creative staff. They work hand in hand to create the most innovative animation processes possible, delivering films at such a quality that adults can enjoy even more so than kids. Pixar's films are not pure fantasy. They're not simply fictitious stories with little to no basis in reality like movies you might see studios such as DreamWorks or Illumination produce that only appeal to kids. Instead, Pixar's films find the magic within our reality and make that magic a reality on screen. They show us hidden worlds in far off places that we could never imagine on our own and that we can enjoy just as much as children. They bring realism and universal truths to the forefront of our minds. But most of all, Pixar creates a new world for us to see, a world which we'll continue to think about anytime we leave our toys behind closed doors. Anyways, that's going to be all for today. If you like what you saw, maybe check out the video on your screen for some different content. I make videos on basically anything that interests me in the world of entertainment. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe as it truly does help me out. And thanks for watching Rocket Riley.